Welcome back to Inside Tennessee. You're looking at a passage about just what the law director does. That's according to the Knox County Charter. One of, we're one of the very few counties in the state of Tennessee that actually has an elected law director, and it says it shall be the duty of the law director to execute and administer all of the legal affairs of the county, including litigation, drafting of contracts or other documents, instruments and papers, the investigation of titles, and to advise and counsel county officials and the commission on all legal matters affecting their respective offices. All right, we are back. Susan, you had a question you wanted to address? I do. Um, one of the discussions going around in this county now is should we continue electing the law director as pointed out and there's a new charter commission uh, committee that is going to take a look at that we understand so I'd like both of your opinions on that since we are one of the few places that continues to elect our, a law director is it is it possible should we do it uh, what are your thoughts about that Kathy I'll start with you well the Charter Commission will make the recommendation they'll determine whether or not that 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 issue should be on the ballot and then it will be up to the people as i had stated the the law director's position is one that exists purely in the county charter and so it is up to the citizens of knox county to decide whether or not they want an elected or an appointed uh, county attorney representing their their divisions well, of government how would you vote yeah, on there that? you go there's the question <laughs> how would you vote on that well i worked for an elected uh, law director and I believe in in the independence that office has and so that it's my position that I, I prefer an elected. Is the elected? suggestion the city yeah. law department doesn't work well because the mayor appoints the city law director? No I, I, I think it works very well for the city but I think that under the charter that the independence that the county law director has as an elected official works very well and and part of it is because they can mediate disputes. They can step in, but they can also step back and hire outside counsel. And hire outside counsel when specific needs require, when there are specialty items that, that are specific to Knox County that, that need to be addressed that aren't in the skill sets of the lawyers in the law department at the current time. So, David? The uh, state legislature, by private act, created the elected law director's office 67 years ago. The county has had an elected law director for 67 years. I agree virtually with everything that Kathy said. You've got an independent law director. I would say that in the city, it seems to work well for the city, but I don't think it would for the county. The bottom line is this. If the city attorney that is appointed by and hired by the mayor disagrees with the mayor on an issue, she can fire him at will, immediately. And what Kathy said is absolutely true. With an elected law director, you have that independence of uh, representing the people and having that independent thing and not being subject to whatever, whoever appoints them is. And if you want to hire, you, you wouldn't want to hire a law director for each department. That would be ungodly expensive. And I think the system we have that's been in place for 67 years is the best one. It'll be up for the voters to decide. Well, but David, you're, you're a yes. In other words, you want to keep both it. Are, yeah. Yeah. So, David, just on that very point, saying it would be ungodly expensive, wouldn't you be able to cut down the current county law director's attorney staff and support staff by assigning, having two people, for example, that are hired by the school board, two lawyers and appropriate support staff. Someone hired, well, the sheriff's already got a bevy of lawyers working for him, but the sheriff's department, county commission having its own lawyer, much like uh, Rob Frost and then previously Charles Swanson has served. Don't you get to cut down on your budget and spread that around to, to people that are truly independent for those services. I don't see how you cut down on it. It's going to take more staff for each of those if you have a law director for the for the school board. That, that lawyer is going to have to have his own staff, so you've got a staff that. you that. will not have to have at the county law director's office. No, I mean, if it's all combined in one office, why is it, I can't see the, the savings that you get by hiring more attorneys. I, it's not more attorneys. You would get less, I think it's a suggestion, because you would not have the obligation to represent the school board as we're using them as the example. I'm not following how you save money. It's a, you're hiring outside counsel at no, $300 an hour. No, permanent counsel for the school board that would be paid just like the deputy county lawyers are now. 
So, they just represent the school board and the school board alone. So you tell me how many lawyers you think that we ought to have, and I'll tell you whether or not that would save well, money. Well, I don't know the answer to that Well, questions. I don't either. It doesn't make sense doesn't to me. Doesn't it make sense to look at it? Well, sure. And it always makes yeah. sense to look Kathy. at it. Well, I, I think that can certainly be done. And I think embedding lawyers in departments it, is something worth considering. Um, because of the general counsel role that I was just speaking of. It's a different way to do it. You know, it, it does need to be noted that we are the only county that has an elected law director, that this is done in other counties. In other words, there are appointed law directors in all the other 94 counties in Tennessee, and it functions with checks well, but and But to balances. David's point, th this office has done a good job at embedding lawyers at the school board and the other departments, even though they're still under the purview now of Bud Armstrong. Right, but that's where the conflicts have come up. That's, that's why we're at the point we're at with the Charter Commission questioning whether or not we should even have an appointed law director, is should those deputies be under the control of the county law director? And I understand that. That's why I'm running. I think those conflicts have brought this to a head. I think it's, it's how it's being operated and how within the, the, role of the, the rules of the, the Tennessee Supreme Court we should be acting as attorneys with these different bodies. It's definitely a topic that has been brewing here in Knox County for the last few years. I, I've been hearing a lot of grumbling about it. Mm -hmm. We've got to take another break. You're watching Inside Tennessee. Get another cup of coffee, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 